Hai hai. another snow day in South Carolina. What is going on lately? My dogs can have to look. They're trapped. Maxie, what are you doing? <laughs> Playing inside and they're getting stir crazy. I'm fixing to have, let's see, for um, Rise and Shine, I already had a couple of lemons blended up with some cayenne in uh, some warm water. And then I'm going to have a green smoothie in a bit. And I have some Swiss chard and parsley. I have some bananas here on the counter that, this is what I was telling y'all the other day. These don't look like they're really spotty and ripe, but actually they're very soft and they're very sweet, so they're ready to eat. So I'm gonna have um, several of those. I'm gonna have some blueberries and I'm going to have the chia seeds in there. I was talking to a friend yesterday um, and I was talking to her about how people are leaving the benefits of chia seeds behind and it really helps stabilize your blood sugar. It helps stabilize your thinking. It gives you stamina. Y'all, it's a lot of good, good possibilities you could be adding with your little bitty chia seeds, you know. But that's not why I'm coming to talk to you. Um, I am going to Costco's in a little while with my mom. She loves to get out in the snow and of course they've canceled school. So. What I want to talk about is when your family sucks, basically. You know, we can go around and we can have, you know, just these butterfly dreams of how people should be wonderful and fabulous and loving all the time. And sometimes I hear people telling me, or, or you know these people that have a situation that really is cruddy. The people they live with or have to encounter or their family really do bring them down. And it's not a good thing. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it's a dysfunctional situation, a group of self-hating people who never have anything positive or encouraging to say. Do you know these people? You might say um, to them, I don't know, this happened to me not long ago. I was like, oh, I, you know, my first book, I, I've sold X amount. And um, they were like, oh, today? I was like, no, all together. <laughs> it's like they could not be excited about my what I felt like was a great accomplishment in that. And um, it's just always the negative side of something, you know? They never have anything positive or anything encouraging to say. But you know, sometimes these people are really weak, miserable people that almost always try to bring everyone else down to their, their low level, basically. Their low vibration, you know? They bring people down so that basically they can feel better about their own lives. This is a lot of times why you'll see people that they won't care if you're losing weight or getting healthy because frankly, they don't want to look at their own sorry habits. So they don't want to hear you talking about it and they certainly don't want to brag on your accomplishments because it shines light on the fact that they have none in that area and they know deep inside people know they need to be healthy they know if they're living in a shell of a hundred pounds of excess weight that's not healthy they know that's not the best them and even if they say oh I don't care us what I am I don't believe that I think they've just given up and that's sad you know they feel successful when they're destroying and draining other people and bringing them down to their level, you know? Um, what it does is it sort of justifies the model they see of, of the, their self in the world and their limiting beliefs about their self, you know? Their limiting, dysfunctional ways they live and it makes them feel like it's all right, you know? I mean, let's just say... Well, first of all, I think it's essential to your success on your new lifestyle and the better version of yourself if you surround yourself with some positive people. You know, a lot of times we are not in a position to just chunk these people out of our life, nor do we want to, you know. 
maybe it's your parents. Maybe it's your husband you've been married to for 30 years. It's not all about just how they eat or are they supportive or all this. There's a lot of factors that play in. But the thing is, you've also got to have some people in your life that are positive and uplifting, you know, and enjoy that kind of thing and are trying to make a better them. It's essential to your success. Have you ever seen a group of people or family that um, they're like all on this low level and they seem to feed off each other? Sorry, that's so bright. The snow is reflecting. Um, it's like they can't dig their stuff out of the same circle hole they go in. We've got to focus on some people in our lives that appreciate you, love you, and value you, you know? Because they love and value their self is where that starts. That's why I'm always saying when you can start with yourself and you can start to love you and you can look in the mirror and say, I love you today, no matter where you are. That's the point upon which you can start loving and embracing others. Quit knocking them down and cracking on every little thing they do because you're doing that because you're dissatisfied with yourself, you know. We all do it to some extent, but I, I'm trying to be very conscious of this and be uplifting in this world because, really, there's not enough love in this world, you know? But there are these kind of butt-type people in everybody's lives, you know? They project their self, their hate, onto other people, onto everybody else in attempt to not take responsibility for their own lives, you know? When you're going around pointing the fingers at other people, or these people are, they hardly have a time to focus on their self and their own problems, you know? Like you can see the little, little bitty, um, little splinter of wood in somebody else's eye, but you can't see the log in your own. <laughs> You know, the quality of your life is greatly affected by the type of people you spend your time with, you know? I mean, if you hate your career and, and somebody else comes into your, your orbit and they're saying like, oh, my career's going so good, I, I got a promotion at work or I'm working on this project or, and you hate your career and you're kind of thinking, so? Or you might even spin it off or, or so these people might spin it off and say, um, that person is so arrogant. They are so full of their self. They're always telling me about their accomplishments and their but basically, they're just taking the pressure off their self because they've done none of these things, you know. Or they don't feel successful and good about their self, I think. Y'all think that's true? They justify not doing different, you know, by attacking other people, basically, is what they do. If you're focused on your goals, you know, Focus on getting to the better version of yourself. It is not your job to fix these people. It is not your job to change everyone's mind and basically put yourself last until you're a worn out rag laying on the ground and you think, well, I just can't do it. No, put yourself first, love yourself enough, and surround yourself with people that love and support the best version of you, you know? Have you ever been in a room or, or around a small group of people that are like that? It is empowering, you know? It feels like a lightning rod of connection. It's hard to find, you know, because basically people are miserable, most of them, you know? They will belittle you. They will say, you're never going to lose weight. Well, you're not going to help your diabetes on that. You're eating fruit, you know. You need to eat. But yet, they've got a double-decker Big Mac stuck in their molars. You try to get healthy and everybody eating a sad diet suddenly has a, a degree in nutrition. I don't listen to people that are not getting the results that I desire. I mean, you know, you could be doing a YouTube channel and you could have, um, you know, haters. Okay, are you going to focus on that one hater out of all these, like, 67 comments? Or are you going to focus on all the good things, all the people that did resonate and, and give a dang about what you said, you know? 
I don't want to focus on these the negativity because when I focus on that, it grows. I don't want to give the hate the opportunity to grow. It doesn't deserve it. I made myself some notes and then I can't read my writing. <laughs> But basically, it's surrounding yourself with people. If you if you live basically, or you're surrounded with people that suck, we don't want to think about people like that. But a lot of people do suck. That's just the bottom line of it. And if you're surrounded by these people, network out, fan out yourself till you can grab on and to some people that are positive. You know. I mean. The negative people, too, try to minimize the fact of how they are entering your terrain. Bring the statements to judgment before you bring them to, to your brain to let it affect you, you know? Bringing it to judgment, you know? You can't control what other people think, what other people say, you know? You can only control the meaning and the power that you give it. You can only control your reaction. You know, we've got to love the life that we have right now. We have a, a limited number of days. I don't want to waste my days focusing on negative vibes. I have seen a lot of people a lot of people that cannot stay on track with their new plan because of haters and negative vibes around them. We have got to fan out. Even if it is, start making comments on the YouTube channels that you watch. Don't go to these negative channels. Go to where you feel uplifted and positive vibration and start making nice comments. Give to people, you know, and then you will receive. You know, elevate yourself. Realize that nobody in this world is like you. No matter if your mom says you are never going to lose that weight, you're never going to find a decent man, you're never going to get off those prescription medicines, you're never, 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 never. Some parents think they are motivating you with negativity, and that never works. It may motivate you into action on some things, but it will be backed with resentment, which is not good, you know. No one is like you, you know. You're, you're really stealing from the world if you don't let yourself shine, let your love out, you know, let your love grow, let you be the best version of you. Another thing is, why do we put ourselves on these challenges like, um, okay, I'm going to do this. Um, it's like a temporary thing. If I'm going to do an implementing challenge, I want to be able to incorporate that into when the challenge day is over. I want to have cultivated a new habit that I can then use in my life. That, I think, is beneficial, and we can talk about that next time. But... Um, now I'm going to have a snow day, and I just basically wanted to... I mean, you would think that people... Here's a good example. You would think that people in my life um, have even, like, read my couple little e-books that I did because that was what I thought to me. I thought, wow, I really did that. Like, And then, like, people that are very close to me have never even looked at that because sometimes you have to reach far and wide to... to Connect with people that understand you. You know what I mean? And that's okay. Just keep reaching because they're out there, right? See y'all later.